Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. Our today's tutorial is about this kinetic typography animation. You can use this as an explainer video also. There will be four more parts of this tutorial and I'll upload one by one. So without wasting any further time, let's start the tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first, to change the background color, go to design, click on format background. And from here, pick this color, close it. Go to home, pick a text box, drag it over here. Here I'm typing if, selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty, increase the size of this font, make it bold, center, change the font color to white. Then pick a rectangle, drag it over this text. Go to format, click on shape fill, change its color. From shape outline select no outline, then right click on it and select send to back. Resize this rectangle a bit more and place this one in the middle. Select this two, press ctrl G to group. After that we have to pick a line shape, holding the shift key from your keyboard drag it over here, go to format from shape outline change its color to white, click on this small arrow from line option increase the width to 6.5 point resizing a bit place it in the middle holding the ctrl shift drag it to down it will be duplicated press ctrl d to duplicate rotate place it here holding ctrl shift drag it to here and it will be duplicated now we have to make some changes for the last one select holding the shift key resize its height holding ctrl shift drag it to upward and it will be duplicated we are taking two lines for the last one cause it will have a extra effect when we add the animation. So now select all of these and place them here. Again pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text. Selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty. Increase the font size, make it bold, change the font color, make it center. Take a rectangle, drag it over this text, go to format, from shape fill change its color, from shape outline select no outline, then right click on it and select send to back. Place it here in the middle. Now select this two, press ctrl G to group, bring it to here holding ctrl shift, drag it to down and it will be duplicated. Change the text, select only the text box from here, press ctrl C to copy and ctrl V to paste. Bring it to here, change the text, selecting the text, I am just increasing the font size to 96 point, place it here. Actually we are done with creating all the necessary elements but before adding the animation we have to do something more. Pick a rectangle, drag it over here to cover this portion. Go to format, from shape fill, change this color so that it matches with the background. From shape outline, select no outline. Holding ctrl shift, drag this to the right, cover this area, press ctrl D to duplicate, resize it, bring it to here to cover the lower portion. Holding ctrl shift, drag it to upward to cover the upper portion. And now we can go for the animation part. So go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Select this group of element. First, from add animation, select fly in. From effect option, select from left. Set start on click duration 0.75 seconds. From effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. Now to animate these lines, select the first one. From add animation, select wipe. From effect option, set from top, set a start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds, select the second one, from add animation, select wipe, from effect option, select from right, set a start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds, for the third one, again select wipe, from effect option, make sure it is selected from bottom, set a start after previous, Duration 0.25 seconds. For the fourth one, again do the same. Select wipe from effect option, set from left, 
set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds for the last one from add animation select wipe again from effect option set from top set start after previous and duration 0.25 seconds now if you start the slideshow you can see that our first few animations are working perfectly now select this one from add animation select fly in from effect option select from top set start after previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth and press ok now i will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation here copy and paste the animation over here from effect option set from right do the same again click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here from effect option select from bottom so now we have to add the exit animations at first select this line from add animation under this exit option select wipe from effect option make sure that it is selected from bottom set a start after previous duration 0.25 seconds delay 0.25 seconds select the second one from add animation select wipe which is under exit from effect option select from right set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds select the third one do the same select wipe from exit option from effect option select from top set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds for this one do the same we have to select wipe from effect option select from left set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds select the last line from add animation select wipe again from effect option make sure it is selected from bottom set a start after previous and duration 0.25 seconds after that again we have to select this group of element from add animation we have to select this fly out animation from effect option select to left set start with previous duration 0.75 seconds Click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth start, press OK. Select this one, again from add animation, select fly out, from effect option, select to top, set start with previous, duration 0.75 seconds, click on this drop down arrow, from effect option, increase the smooth start, press OK. Select this one, do the same, from add animation set fly out from effect option select to right set start with previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start press ok now for this last object from add animation select fly out from effect option select to bottom set start with previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start and press ok here our animation is ready. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. This is the first part of our kinetic typography animation and in our next tutorial, I will show you how to make this one. So make sure you keep your eyes on our channel, show us your support that really inspire us. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. That's all for today, hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.